www.cars.coza our dear viewers you might not be familiar with rotary technology so let me give you a tour of this particular engine because you can really see what's going on here and how this all works and i think this will help you better understand this technology now this is the only other type of combustion engine which made it into significant serial production and yes it does burn fuel in air like a piston engine but that's about where the similarities end so what's creating your rotating 
limiting force here is rotors, four of them in this particular engine. Normally it's just two, sometimes it's three. Here it's four, which is really pretty incredible. And a rotor looks like this. It's exactly this shape, actually. It's a rounded triangle. There's four of them rotating in here. You can see in the silver sections with the center plates between them dividing them up. In the middle of that is your crankshaft, which goes through to the flywheel, the clutch, and the transmission, which in this case is from a BMW M3. Now, as the rotors rotate, they create suction, and that brings in air and fuel. This is a peripheral port adaptation, so the fuel's going right there into the combustion chamber with the air. As the rotor is rotating, it's sucking in that air fuel mixture, bringing it onto this side of the engine where it's compressing it, and then over here are two spark plugs which ignite the fuel and the air mixture. That creates the explosion which sends the rotor going around again. Now for every rotation you get of a rotor, you get three rotations of your crankshaft, and so the power delivery is very linear and very quick. And because the engine is so light, there's very little inertia, which means it can build up speed really, really quickly. And that's why it sort of sounds like a motorbike engine, actually. And that is really one of the most impressive things about rotary engines. The displacement is so small compared to a piston engine. This is only a 2.6 liter. Normally it would be a 1.3 liter and you're getting 300, 350, 400 kilowatts out of this tiny engine. This really is quite a special engine. You're not gonna see anything like this too often. To get something like this right takes a lot of time and energy and a lot of custom fabrication. And I'm really, really pleased that I got to drive and take a look at this motor. <laughs>
Dream Search Drive. Cars.coza.